So we might as well get on to some some news. Um, Superman Legacy is no more. It is now just called Superman. And on April 29th, James Gunn had revealed the symbol, the new symbol, yep. Superman symbol. Um, yeah, because it, it was Superman's birthday. I did not know Superman's no. birth was so, on a leap year. So I, I, was, I was trying to look that up, and from what I read in the movie or the comics, it's like June something. Maybe it was the the birth of it. Like, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I was like, where the hell are they coming up with this? Yeah. But it had to be it had to be something like that. Because I looked up Clark Kent's birthday. And then it came up. It all came up. The, I, I can't remember what it was. But it wasn't February 29th. So I, that threw me all off. Hmm. Oh, okay. But Here what, we go. Superman's birthday is on Leap Day, February 29th, and happens every four years. Perhaps that is why the fans also celebrate on April 18th as Superman as Superman comic birthday, the first okay, day of the first issue read. of the Superman comic. Uh, okay. Superman Day also is celebrated by DC Comics on June 12th. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. So remember when I was like, I seen the logo. You showed me the logo before. You showed me that. It was the name tag for Hawk Girl. Yeah, she accidentally. Had the logo. Yeah, she accidentally yeah. fucking released so it. I was like, oh shit, dude. Yeah. A, yeah. a lot of people freaked out. They're like, uh oh, she accidentally leaked the new symbol. Yeah. And I when I saw it, I was like, there's no fucking way they're going with the it's the Kingdom Come symbol. Yeah. Not a lot of people realize or even recognize that as the logo. Right. But that's <laughs> what I'm going to – this is what I think is happening now because now that we've seen that logo and everyone is complaining that the cast is too big, you have the authority there, you have all these different characters. What I think what I think is going to happen with this movie – we'll get back to the symbol real quick. But I, now that I think with the symbol, I think I mentioned this to you before. I think we're going to get a Kingdom Come slash Superman versus the Elite uh, – kind of story oh, okay. and you know tie that in and make something new with it um but i think instead of the elite it's going to be the authority and just seeing the new symbol like clarified it to me i was like oh man we we might be getting that so that would make sense like only the diehards actually really know like the kingdom come you know things so like the people who just enjoy superman as a character yeah It'll bring all them into everything and, and show them the other sides of the comics. I mean, God, dude, people don't realize how much there is. Yeah, there's a in lot. In these movies, or like in these comics, I mean. Yeah. Um, I think it was, was I talking to my son? I think I was talking, no, no. I was talking to someone, and they're, um, they're like, oh, Superman don't kill. I was like, no, no, no. Yes, he does. Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah. Like you guys, you know, like a lot of people don't realize that Superman has flipped yeah. <laughs> in the comics. If you watched him, he kills people. <laughs> yeah. So, so like, I think it was my son. Well, we met, he brought up uh, in um, his Justice League when uh, Bruce went back in. Uh, oh no, it was the Flash. Maybe the Flash part. When yeah. He came forward, and he was next thing you know, it was uh, the Doomsday. All that shit was going on, and. Superman was killing people, man. But um, they brought that up in um, Superman and Lois, too. The, um, who was it? Oh, who plays Steel? John, uh, God damn it, I can't think of his name. John something. I can't think of his goddamn name. Anyways, he was from another planet. And in that planet, Superman was killing everybody. Yeah. Um, can't fucking think of his name. Anyway, so he came to this planet, or I don't know if it was a, it was a alternate universe or whatever, but he came here and he was still thinking like Superman's bad. He's bad, you know. He's like, no, he's good on this planet. He's like, yeah, but now, right? He's just like, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. No, it'll be interesting if they do take that route. It'll definitely. 
open up everybody to the other sides of the comics and stuff. I yeah. Yep. I'd be happy with that. Yeah. For sure. A lot of people, I knew, I knew this was gonna come. I knew it was coming, but I, when they showed it, showed the symbol, I was like, oh, it's it's simple again. You know, Zack Snyder, mm-hmm. man, he went fucking way detailed. Like in Man of Steel, you know, it was just a symbol, one of my favorite symbols for sure. And then in Batman vs Superman, all of a sudden they had like Kryptonian scripture throughout the center yeah. of it. And everything is just all this is going on in the symbol because that's just what Zack Snyder does. He brings all this detail and this and that. And, and like, it's not really fair to compare both of them, but I'm kind of glad. Like, I was like, okay, the way I see James Gunn's symbol is, you know, less can be more. And mm. I dig it. I think it's cool. I really thought it was really interesting that they brought the yellow outline back um, from. Uh, the Fleischer, you know, from the like the mm. beginning, I was like, "Holy shit!" They got the yellow outline, but we don't even know what the suit looks like. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be cool. I think it's gonna be a much brighter look, looking yeah, Superman. I'm excited. Yeah, I am. I'm very excited for that. I am too. There's a lot of people, man. I mean, still, it people are just like. <laughs> Restore the Snyderverse. I'm like, man, yeah, I don't know what it's gonna take for everyone to just move on. But I don't think they, I don't think people are like at all. I don't think it's gonna well, happen. You know, they're they're set on their ways. So I mean, just I guess just let it happen. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. I mean, if they want to sit there and complain and stuff, well, whatever, dude. Yeah, you know, we're gonna move on. For instance, I had a big issue in the beginning when Ben Affleck was chose to be Batman. Oh, yeah? I did not like that at all. Oh, and no When you shit. told me, I was like, what? Yeah. Reindeer games? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Like, that's what I came up that's with. That's exactly <laughs> what you said to me, was reindeer <laughs> games. That's exactly it. So, I was like, this dude, this is like ruining it for me. And then, you see him in the role, and you're like, so he did all right. Okay. Yeah. Like, shit, your, your shit changes. So, people who, you know, you're a big Superman fan. You're going to go see the goddamn movie. It's not like you're not. Yeah. I'm not saying it because it's not Zack Schneider. Okay, whatever. Dude. You're not a Superman fan. I, I, I'll tell you what. What's I think was <coughs> he has fucking crushed it with casting in this movie. The casting is amazing in this movie. But, you know, we'll see. Um, The symbol, yeah, I like good. it. I like that. I like it. It's it's different. It's, a, it's, it's just something different. And, you know, different mm. isn't always good. But we'll see, uh, we'll just have to see what happens and.